Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back. Um, I did say I have two new subscribers. So welcome to those that just subscribed. You, I am so appreciative every time I see those numbers go up. And to those of you who have been subscribed for a while, welcome back to my channel. Um, so the reason I decided to do this video is because one, I really don't know why I haven't thought of it on my own because you know, whatever it's cool but i will piggyback off of the other videos that i've seen um of this and as you guys know i am a huge huge fan of jasmine her youtube name is juicy jazz and that's the one who she gave me the idea to do this and she you know piggybacked off of someone else that she subscribed to so it just kind of went about that so as you can see by the title of this video i picked my favorites in every makeup category that I have. And like I said, I wish I would have done this sooner because I know I've touched in my other video videos briefly on like the things that I use or like my holy grails or whatever, but I don't think it's been like expansive to where I include every single thing that I use. So I tried to be super organized. Um, I made a list. So I went in the order that I do my makeup and I kind of picked so Jasmine did three in each category. Um, and I don't, I kind of have three um, in some, in some I only have two, but I do also have some things that I grabbed that are like honorable mentions, uh, things that I don't maybe use always, but maybe use like sometimes, but I still grab them and I still gravitate towards them. So that's kind of, the thought process that I did it with. Um, and so I'm gonna try to be quick, but we all know that's probably a big fat lie on my part. Um, so grab a snack or a drink or both, whatever, and let's dive into my favorite products like that I use all the time. So I start off my looks by always doing my eyebrows first. So that's what we're gonna dive into. So I have I actually do have three in this category. And um, so obviously my all time favorite is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I am in shade three, which is, uh, it doesn't say, so it's, sh but it's shade three. So I do like this, I like the spoolie on this and I do like the pencil. This comes with a hefty, price tag. This is $24. Um, oh, also before I forget, I did try to do a mix of high end and drugstore. I will say in some categories, I'm more high end than drugstore. Um, and that's not to say that there aren't some amazing drugstore products out there, but this is just what I use what works for me because for years I've struggled to find things that work for my skin because my skin is just extra like you guys will see like like there's I'm my skin had hit at odds me and my face have been at odds I don't know what's causing it I don't know if it's hormones or the weather or I don't know what it is but I'm trying to hide some blemishes okay so these are just things that I love that work for me. If you have drugstore items that work for you in a spe spe uh, specific category, that's awesome. I'm not knocking drugstore because I do love a bunch of drugstore products. So I'm not trying to be a snob. I'm not trying to be a bitch. It's just what I love and what works for my particular skin type and with everything that I'm working with, basically. So with that being said, let's get back into it. So. I actually found some really good drugstore alternative for eyebrow, um, my eyebrows, which, so I really don't think I will be repurchasing the Benefit Pencil, which I can't believe I'm saying this because I've been using this for years now. So my two drugstore favorites actually, and so this is the Milani Precision Brow, um, and I am in 130 Soft Brown. This pencil is so like, it's creamy, but it still gives you that control to outline, to fill in, whatever you need to do. I will say this though, I'm not super crazy about the spoolie on this 
if you guys can see, it's like, it's too small and it's really sparse and it's not, it doesn't do a whole lot for when you're trying to brush out the brows. So, but this is, I think this is $8.99. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. And then my other favorite that I am like, literally, if you guys can see, it's like all coming off. Like you can't even see like what it is because I use it every single day. But I did grab because I have backups. So this is by Makeup Revolution. And this is from their XX line. So this is the Beauty London XX Revolution. And this is their Fine Brow Micro Definer pencil and I am in shade I also think it's soft brown yes I'm in soft brown in this one as well and you guys this pencil is everything and I think this is also $8.99 or $7.99 so I love the spoolie on this so this kind of works you know in conjunction I use both of both of these um so I do like that this is very precise I actually love outlining with this and then filling in with the Milani one and then brushing it out so these are kind of my three favorites although I'm now going to be down to two because I like I said the benefit one I'm not going to repurchase because I don't think it's necessary to spend the $24 when you can get something that works just as great for so much less. And then moving on to after I do my brows, I set them with a brow gel. I have tried so many brow gels and I actually only have two. And I hate that I love this Benefit 24-hour brow setter as much as I do um, because it is also in the upper 20s. It's up there in price, but a little bit goes a long way and it does last for quite some time. I am not a fan of the tinted brow mascaras, gels, whatever you want to call it. I'm just not. I am very much all about the clear gels. So the spoolie on this is rubbery, which is so nice because it kind of, I have terrible brows, you guys. They're sparse, they're falling out. I don't know what's going on. So I fill them in quite a bit because otherwise I have no brows and I have to have them be in place all day, not melt off, not budge basically. And this rubber spoolie right here does such a great job at like pulling the hairs, <laughs> the little bit of hairs that I have and it adheres and it may it doesn't so it's not like gross or sticky it doesn't make your brows crunchy none of that but it does keep them in place all day long my other favorite is actually much more affordable it's the one it's the clear one by morphe and this one just looks like a regular like uh, mascara wand um and this is also clear and this is so much more wallet friendly this is um six dollars i will say this though quite a bit this is out of stock on the morphe site the other crap thing about morphe is you have to get like 50 or 60 dollars worth of stuff to get free shipping because you know guys know how i feel about shipping i hate it if you can get stuff where you you know but you don't always need fifty dollars worth of stuff like if all i need is this it's frustrating. So this is when I discovered the benefit because I can get this at Ulta because from Ulta, I always need something, whether it's a backup or new things that I want to try out. So these two, love them, will continue to repurchase, highly recommend. Um, if you guys, like I said, if you're looking for something wallet friendly and you can get your hands on the Morphe one, do it because it's really, really nice. Okay, so then from that, I go and I prime my eyelids to do my eyeshadow. And in this one, I also only have two. And one's drugstore, one's higher end, or I guess maybe in between, it's by Rare Beauty. So my Rare Beauty, this one is a recent discovery for me. This is the eye, this is just their eye primer. And it is, it's $18. But again, I'm gonna put, a, put this out a little bit goes a long way. You do not need a ton of this on your eye. You don't have to cake your entire eyelid in this. It's got like a nice little doe foot applicator. It, it is tinted, so it will cover up. Like if you have some veining or discoloration, it will do that. And like I said, just a little bit. And it does such a beautiful job keeping your eyeshadows in place. I actually used it this morning when I did my makeup and I love it. And then again, wa more wallet friendly, the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow, eyebrow, 
eye shadow primer. I don't know the exact name of it, but you'll be able to see it. So this is what the tube looks like. And this is also another doe foot applicator. Pretty much, I guess, the same. The only thing that I will say, that, like I said, this is super cheap. This, is, this, I think, is like $2, but you do not get a lot of product in here. So, like, I've used it, I don't know, a few times, and, like, I'm, I was already scraping, like, the sides. But I guess... You can't expect a whole lot for $2. So that's why I think I really do prefer this one because you have, you have quite a bit of product in here. So yeah, you're spending the $18, but this is gonna last you proud. If you don't always use eyeshadow primer, because I don't always use it, if I'm doing my face first when I'm pressed for time, I will use concealer on my eyelids and I will just set it with a setting powder. So this will go, this will probably last you a good six months, if not longer. So you kind of have to look at it like it may seem like, oh my God, $18, but you have to kind of look at the bigger picture because this is going to last you for a long time. So anyways, enough about that. So that's my, um, then from there, um, like I said, typically I do my eyes first. So then I will go into eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, man, this was tough for me. So the way I picked these out is, the only times that I really have the time to play around and create more of like, you know, add color or pops or whatever I want to do is on the weekends. Typically Monday through Friday when I'm doing my makeup before work, I need something that's quick where I don't have to really think about it. Most of my eye looks are neutral during the week. I don't really play a whole around like a lot with color. So I went with the ones that I gravitate towards during the week like so this is what i use throughout the week i don't touch any of my other palettes because simply i don't have the time for it i already wake up at like 4 30 in the morning i'll be freaking damned if i'm up at the ass crack of dawn being like all right let's play around with some eye looks no so that's how i chose the eye palettes i do have palettes shadows um i do have three so again kind of higher end it just what I gravitate towards not that I don't because you guys know I love my color pop I love BH I love all of that but these are just the ones because I I'm a neutral B you know this so the first one I know I think I, I know I talked about this one in my palettes eyeshadow palettes videos a while back so this is my Dior this is their backstage eye palette and this is the rose 004 rosewood neutrals this is truly like a one and done because you have your eyeshadow primer. I set my eyeshadow primer. I pro I know I don't have to, and most people probably don't, but that is just works. what works for me. So I'll do the eyeshadow primer. I set it with this very um, neutral shade right here, and then you just go on and you create your looks. This is super pigmented, long lasting. It lasts me the entire day and into the night. There's no budging, there's no creasing. This is $45. I know you're like, Julia, you're stupid, probably, but I love this palette. I use it pretty much every day. Um, and then if I'm like, so I'm like, okay, I need, I'm sick of using this. That's when I'll dive into the two other ones. Um, so the other one is actually, this is more affordable. This is by Hip Dot. I love the, the packaging on this. And this is their um, Witchy Warms. This is what it's called. And it's their press pigment and glitter palette. We don't f with the glitter but actually you know what scratch that this does this this isn't glitter to me these are these are very much shimmers so i don't know why they called it glitter but this is again you guys these neutrals are everything like they're so beautiful there is barely any fallout in these either like it's they're just amazing and again you have everything in here to create your look and it's just beautifully pigmented beautiful texture they're creamy they're blendable they're they last all day and i believe this palette is like 20 20 something so it's definitely not as expensive as the dior one this is i feel like this is very much affordable and you do get the bigger pans so this lasts for a while you guys and then last but not least is of course i have to the Dominique Cosmetics, the transition palette, because this truly is like if I oversleep in the morning or if I'm just too lazy and I set my alarm for later in the morning, this is my go to because I do everything with this palette, my eyes, my cheeks, 
my under eyes to brighten. This is a bronzer. This is everything. The only thing that really does that it doesn't have is a highlight because these are all mattes. But everything else, this is your palette. Like, and like I said in my um, eyeshadow palette video, if you pick, if you take anything away, even from this, from everything that I love to use, this right here is well worth the price tag, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You can be thinking I'm completely out of my damn mind and that's fine, but in my opinion, this is worth every penny because this truly is a one and done. And especially if you're like traveling, because I know a lot of people are getting back into vacations and you know, kind of somewhat getting back to normal, this is all you need. You don't have to pack your an entire bag of makeup all in one palette. It's amazing, but anywho. So from eyeshadow, I go to my skin is when then I move into my skincare or not skincare, but skin prep. Um, so primers, um, actually take one step back before I use my primer. I love to use a nice priming spray just to kind of get the skin prepped and hydrated. My favorite one, and I only have one, you guys, is the Milani Supercharged Revitalizing, Revitalizing, I can talk, Facial Mist. It is so light, like, you got, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, it's just such a light, refreshing mist and it's very citrusy. I love the smell of it. It's like cracking into a fresh orange. I freaking love it. And I have another one that's a lot of the times out of stock on Milani site, on Ulta. So I do have backups of this because I love it so much. So that's my one and, one and done for the facial mist that I absolutely love. And then from there, um, I let it absorb a little bit into the skin and then I'll go into the priming of my face. So my fluke discovery, because I bought it just to try it because I've heard so many good reviews about it, is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. This, you guys, I believe it's 20, oh, 25, $26 or something like that. Maybe less. I really should have looked up the price, but this saved my face this summer because my skin has been doing too much. The weather has been making my skin so freaking oily. It's been ridiculous. And this has just been everything. It truly is a pore diffuser. It's not drying, it's not cakey, it's not silicone-y. It feels like almost like a whipped gel when you're putting it on your face, but it really does diffuse the pores and it keeps you like not overly matte, but mattified throughout the day and it helps control that oil. And I absolutely freaking love this. I actually got, I got a, the mini one to try it and I loved it so much. Another one where a little bit really goes a long way. You don't have to slather your face in this. So again, the initial purchase, you're like, Ugh, do I want to spend that? You guys, you do. This is an amazing, amazing primer. I absolutely love it. This has been my everyday go-to every single morning when I do my makeup. Um, the other ones, these are mostly, I use them actually in the fall and winter months because my skin, as soon as seasons change, my skin changes just like that. Um, it becomes more thirsty for hydration. I do get dry patches with the oiliness. So it's like, my skin's super weird. Um, the one that I'm really loving for the hydration portion of it is the Milani Glass Skin Primer with Peach. It actually, like you guys, it doesn't even feel like a primer. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out. It feels like skincare. Um, it is very, very soft and it is, it blends, like it just, the skin eats it right up. It's like a lotion. But once it dries down a little bit, you get that, you're not shiny and oily, you're like dewy and you're glowy and you get a little bit of tackiness with it where your makeup grips. And I absolutely love this. And I wanna say this is like $9.99 and it just smells like a fresh peach. I freaking love it. Um, the other thing that I really love in um, the winter and the fall, so this is very much seasonal, 
I love the, so this is the Fourth Ray Beauty. This is an extension of ColourPop. They have it on the ColourPop website. This is their Thirst Aid Hydrating Primer Moisturizer. So it's a moisturizer, but it, it primes. So in conjunction with this, I will use the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer. This is their original, the pink one. Um, the combo with this, absolutely freaking amazing. Um, I would highly recommend it. If your skin is oily, if your skin is sensitive, if your skin is acne prone, if your skin has texture, if you have enlarged pores, which is literally everything that I have, I truly believe that this combo will work beautifully for you and your makeup will last and it's not gonna budge. And I actually feel the same about this. So if you guys are relating to me on a skin level, you, these these are absolute necessary purchases in my opinion. Um, but again, take it as you may. Um, you may disagree and that's fine, but that's just what's what I'm loving. Uh, from there, obviously I go into foundation. I don't have drugstore foundation, you guys. I, I just don't. Um, I wish I did. I have tried it all and it does not work with my skin. None of it. I wish it did because it pains me sometimes how much money I spend on foundation. But I, you just, I, I have to. Um, I, I love foundation. I love the skincare. You know, I love transforming my face, covering up if I need to, or you know, if I'm having a good skin day, just something light and refreshing. And unfortunately, none of it is drugstore. So, with that being said, I have three. You guys know I talk about that. I've talked about this a lot. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is thirty nine dollars. It's not cheap, you guys, but this right here, I will never stop buying this. This is my holy grail of holy grails. Like, it's it's amazing. It's not cakey, it's not greasy, it's buildable, it wears all day long. And again, it's worth every penny to me because that's what works for my skin. The other one that I actually recently discovered, I think I had mentioned this in my birthday video. I bought this, I think, back in April just to try it because I've heard good reviews on it. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. Another one, you guys, where it's so beautiful and lightweight, but it still gives you coverage and it lasts all day long. This is $36. It's a little bit cheaper than the Urban Decay, but it's still up there, but I absolutely freaking love it. And this is gonna be a repurchase for me for sure. So there, Ugh. it is what it is. My third one is also by Urban Decay, but this is if for the days where I'm just going like nowhere, but I still wanna have something on my face. This is their Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. So this has kombucha in it and marula oil, and it actually gives you medium coverage, but I, but it honestly, it's very buildable as well. So while this, like I, it's a skin tint, but it is like, to me, the coverage that it gives you, it's, it's foundation. And again, it's up to 24 hour wear. It's every claim that it makes, it's true. And I also think this is upper 20s, 30s. I don't know. I can't remember. But again, this isn't like my everyday. So this, this I've had this tube for months. Like, so it does last a little bit, goes a long way. But it makes your skin so beautiful. It's so lightweight. Even though it gives you that coverage, it's still so lightweight. And I love it. So that's my three. I wish, like I said, I had drugstore options, but unfortunately, none of them agree with my skin. And so that is just what I purchased because that's what works for me. Doesn't break me out. And you know, anyways, away from my tangent now. So next I have concealers because I love concealers. <laughs> I use them to conceal. I use them to brighten, to highlight, whatever. Again, I wish I had a drugstore concealer that worked for me as well as my higher end ones do. I have not come across one. If you guys have any suggestions, I am open because again, freaking pains me sometimes how much money I am dishing out for foundation and concealer. But thus far, it's been futile. I have not been able to find 
anything that works for me drugstore wise. So my favorite, favorite of my favorites is the Tarte, the Tarte Shape Tape, but the new one, the ultra creamy one. I think I'm on my third tube, you guys. Like I absolutely love it. And I am 16N Fairlight Neutral in this. It is creamy. It is gives you coverage. It lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't cake. It doesn't emphasize anything. Like I can just keep on going. This is a beautiful concealer. I think it's 26 or $28. I'm gonna keep buying it. <laughs> like, again, just gonna do it. My next one that I absolutely love is by Too Faced. This is their Born This Way um, multi-use sculpting concealer. I can't say enough good things about this concealer. It is everything. You can conceal with it, you can contour, you can highlight, you can retouch. Like I said, all of these claims on here, they are all true, all of them. I love this concealer. This is like 30. 32 I don't know but I freaking love it I love it you know and then my last one again also discovery with the meet your hue foundation is the dose of colors meet your hue concealer they go together like it's like peanut butter and jelly you guys they just they just flow I love this when I'm using this foundation, I am always using this concealer. The combo is absolutely gorgeous. Um, for my, I will say though, for my under eyes, I only use this because not only does it cover, but it is so creamy and so lightweight, but it still gives you that coverage and it brightens. I freaking love it. Um, just, mm, I can't. So from there, once I do my foundation, my concealer, we are moving into setting powder. You guys are going to hate me. I swear to God. You're going to be like, Julia, F you. Why are you showing us all this stuff that's expensive? But again, you guys, I'm not saying you have to go and buy this. This is just what my skin loves and doesn't freak out at. And unfortunately, apparently my skin is super freaking expensive. So again, setting powders. I wish I had drugstore that works and does what I need it to do. I wish because I don't like spending that much money. I, I It may seem like... I do, but I really don't. But the, and then honestly, in the grand scheme of things, like can you really put a price on a good skin day? You know what I mean? Or a good makeup or something that makes you feel good and confident and you can put your best face, you know, forward into the world. I know some of you are like, bitch, yeah, it does have a price tag, but that's just that's how I sometimes justify my things. So my, again, I haven't been using this long. This is a recent discovery for me, maybe four or five months. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish uh, Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. So this is a pressed powder. No, it's not cheap. It's $45. And I know you're like, are you smoking crack? No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. I can't, my job doesn't pay me enough to have a drug habit, okay? So I'm in shade one because I'm pasty. This can be this can be your whole face setting powder. It absolutely can be, but I am apparently super extra. So what I use this for, and I think, and this lasts, you guys, this lasts, okay? You don't need a lot of it. Um, like I've had this, I think for like three months, two months. No, I think, yeah, two months. And I have like barely made a dent in this. So what I use this for is I use it to set under my eyes and I use it like, I'm like the T-zone I do right here my nose, my cheeks under the eyes, and then my chin. That is what I use to set with this. For the rest of my face, I use a loose setting powder. You guys know, you already know, my holy grail, the love of my life, Laura Mercier, the translucent setting powder. 30, $36, but again, look at the bigger picture, okay? You're spending $36, this lasts, at least five months and that's at the least okay because a little bit goes a long way and then same with this was a recent love for me as well i will repurchase just like i'll repurchase the laura mercier the hourglass uh translucent setting powder their veil again 40 maybe i don't know don't quote me i don't know prices i should 
But again, look at the size of this, you guys. It's large and you don't need a lot of it. So the initial investment hurts. It hits you right in your freaking goodies and you're like, I hate myself. It passes. It does. Because this lasts and lasts and lasts. This isn't like a every couple weeks purchase. Do you know what I mean? So if we're, you know, take $38 and divide it by five, because I can guarantee you, you can get five months use out of this. And you kind of, it puts things in perspective a little bit. At least it does for me. Off my soapbox. These are my setting powders. So what I have been loving doing, and that's probably only because it's the summer months and my skin's being stupid. Um, what I will do is, like I said, I will prime with this before my face primer. Then once I do my face, my foundation, and my concealer, I will set in between just to kind of help all those powders absorb into my face. And I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Holy grail of a setting spray, you guys. It is. It's expensive. I know. But it lasts also because you don't need a ton of it. So I will set with this just to kind of have help it all melt into my skin before I go in with my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight. So I promise you guys we're nearing, we're nearing the end. We're getting there. So bronzers, Again, a no-brainer for me. I only have two. No, they're not drugstore. If you want to stop watching this video, you have my permission. Because you're probably like, I hate your face right now. So, my favorite is the, and I know I've mentioned it before, the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Soul, Soleil, whatever the hell you want to call it. They're bronzer. Um... It's beautiful, it's bronzy, it's sun-kissed, and it smells like chocolate. You can't go wrong. Here's the thing about Too Faced. They are constantly, and I mean constantly, running some sort of a sale on their website. So this right here is in the mid 30s. You guys, when I'm telling you I never paid full price for this, I'm not lying to you. The most I've ever paid for this, I think, was 18 or maybe $20 at the most. I have never paid the full $32. This is why I have it. And the other thing with this, a little bit goes a long way. I've had this one for at least four months, barely made a dent. As you guys can see, you can still kind of see the outline of the Too Faced written in it. That's how little you need because this is pretty intense. Like. It blends out really well, but you have to have a light hand with this because if you're going for like a really bronzy look, this is the bronzer to use and it will last you and last you and last you. So again, think about that. Look at the bigger picture when you're thinking prices and purchase. So my other one that I will repurchase is the Fenty Beauty. This is their... Um, Instant warmth bronzer. Um, I have hit pan on this, but even with hitting pan, you guys, I've had this. Ugh. I got this in the early spring, I wanna say. Yeah, I've got this in the early spring, March or early April, and it's now mid-August, essentially, and I'm still like, I've hit pan, but there's so much more in here. Here's why I want these two. So this right here, it is a buildable bronzer. So this is like, if you just want like a little flush of bronzer, a little, you know, flush of color on you to make you look like for me, to make me look alive, undead, whatever. This is, this right here is what you want. The Too Faced one is like, I wanna be a bronzed goddess. I want people to be like, oh my God, were you on vacation? Are you tan? No, nope, just bronzer. So that's why I have these two. For days where I want to be super dramatic and be like, ooh, look at me, I'm bronzy. I use the Too Faced one. And then at days where I'm at work, basically, during the week where I just want to be like, yeah, you're breathing. You have some color in you. I use the Fenty Beauty. So yeah, this one is also, I think, in the 30s. But again, you guys, think about it. April, May, June, July, August. I've had this for five months. 
And while I hit pan, I still have a ton of product in here. So again, let's look at the bigger picture, you guys, okay? All right, next blush. And this again, like blush has never really been a thing for me, but I have really been into it. And um, I do have three. And I do have drugstore in here. Yay, go Julia, drugstore. Anyways, so my, I love this blush. This is the Milani, the rose powder blush. I am in 01 Romantic Rose, and this is so beautiful. It's very muted. It has a little bit of pink to it, but it's mostly super neutral. And I absolutely love it. And this is pigmented, so very light hand. And I believe this is like $8.99 or yeah, something like that. It's under $10, you guys. My other one that is I'm loving and will continue to repurchase one if I ever hit pan on this is the one from ColourPop. And this is actually from one of their, um, I can't think, if you guys can think of the collection that it's from, I'm drawing a blank, but it's from one of their collections. I hope they don't stop making this, but this is the Jet Set and this is very bronzy but it's a blush and it's it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. And it has a little bit of like a glow to it. So if you're like not really into highlighter, but you still wanna be a little glowy, I think this, this blush would do the trick for you. And I wanna say this is like $7.99 or something like that. It's ColourPop, so you guys know it's affordable. And then my new recent favorite, which I didn't even pay for this, um, it's the Ofra, well, I shouldn't say I didn't pay for it. It was either in my Boxy or my Ipsy. I can't remember which one, but this is the Ofra Blush Rose. You guys, I am, it is like matte. It's, there's no shimmer, there's no sheerness. It's matte, but it's so beautiful. And again, it's bronzy and a little bit pinky, but like on the skin, it's so gorgeous. And again, Ofra is expensive. This is, I actually didn't look up the price of this, but I think it's like in the $30, but you get a lot of product and light hand, you guys. You just need a little bit and it gives you the most beautiful flush of color on your cheeks and it's matte. So if you like a matte blush, this is it. So again, the initial purchase may hurt a little bit. The wallet might cry but it's also gonna last for quite some time. So if I ever hit pan on this, I will repurchase because I absolutely love this color and I love the formula of it. So hate me, love me, I don't care. I'm gonna repurchase it. So, and next, after I do that, I go in with my highlight and I do, I have three, but I do have one that's drugstore and affordable. So my very, like for the longest time, I was stuck on the Becca and you guys, Becca's going out of business. If you didn't know, I think next month is when they're officially shutting down. So if you, and I know they're having a sale and stuff. So I think now is the time you can still place orders on their website. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this is in the shade Moonstone. It is the most beautiful, and this is very natural. So if you don't wanna, you know, glow to the gods and to Mars and to the aliens, and you wanna just be like a glow from within type of girl, this right here is absolutely stunning. So it's like this champagne-y, no, yeah, it's, it's like a champagne-y tone. It's beautiful, like, and it's so soft, like, oh, you, you can't even see it probably with my lighting, but if you guys can see like that glow that you get, it is incredibly natural and it's really, really pretty and it lasts all day. And like I said, while they're still accepting orders, if you wanna get your hands on this, I would highly recommend it because next month they're done, they're gone. It's really, really unfortunate because Becca is a great brand, but you know, I think this pandemic like just hit everybody everybody um my next one that hurt you guys it hurt to buy this it's the oprah highlighter and it's called all of the lights but can we talk about this can we can we please because my god 
This is stunning, stunning. The other thing with Ofra, they run sales. If I will, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it over and over again, sign up for the emails. Sign up with your email, check your emails because the sales are amazing, you guys, okay? They are, they're worth it. Um, I did not pay full price for this. This is, even though it's still pricey, it was at a discount, but it still was a little painful. But you have four different shades in here, okay? So what I do, because I love to glow, I do. I swirl all four and I just go ham on it. I freaking love this highlighter. But it can be very subdued and very minimalistic because you've got this beautiful light shade right here, which will give you just the, look at that. I barely freaking touched it. Oh my God, that's crazy. Um, it will give you a nice pretty glow. These right here too are more bronzy and then you've got that pretty pink one. It, I love it, okay? If you can love, as much as you can love a highlight, I love it that much. It is worth every penny because again, a light swirl and you're glowing. The aliens are like, ooh, look at that glow. Yeah, that's how I feel about this. So worth the purchase, you guys, it is. And then my drugstore option is the BH Cosmetics. This is their Belgian waffle palette. And this actually, I believe it's $18, but BH is another one where sales are like nonstop on their site. This is actually a combination of the top three right here, that's bronzers. And then at the bottom right here, you've got the highlights. I will say that I'm not, and it's not a bad bronzer. The shades are just a bit much for me because I'm so pasty. So it's like the very light one does nothing, but then like even mixing, it's, it doesn't create the right shade for me. But the texture, the quality, they're beautiful. So I'm all about the highlights. And you guys can see I've been dipping quite a bit in these. Another one where you are going to be glowing to the gods and they're gonna be like, you are beautiful from the heavens above. Like these are gorgeous. And like I said, this whole thing is $18, but I actually got this for $10. So. The freaking sales help you guys sign up, use those email addresses and check your emails. It freaking, it's worth it. So you don't have to get the Becca, you don't have to get the Ofra, okay? I just have issues and I buy shit. So this right here, it's amazing and it's affordable. So there you go. That's what you get from me. Okay, so after I do all of that, oh my God, I forgot eyeliner. Who can forget eyeliner? Um, actually, you guys, I did pretty good on this. It's it's affordable. Um, my favorite liquid eyeliner is the the one by Tarte. So this is their Tarteist one. And what I like about this, I think this is like twenty dollars, but you get the pencil on one end, and then you get the liquid one. On the other so it's 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 a combination and it's and i love 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 their liquid freaking pencil it is like my favorite i will highly recommend this all day every day and then for the rest of these these are drugstore you guys so i have the milani stay put waterproof eyeliner in uh this is zero two stay with slate just a black one and then my other two favorites are the um the Power Pencil from BH Cosmetics. You guys, on sale, these are $2.99. Um, I think the Milani one's like $5.99 or $4.99, something like that. But these right here, $2.99. You cannot go wrong with these, okay? So I have the blue one. This is Royal Blue and the black. So these are intense. These are waterproof perfect for your waterline or just on top of your eyelid, however you want to use them. And these are sharpenable. Is that a word? You can sharpen them. 
So as you can see, like I've already sharpened this and it sharpens really well too. It's not like it doesn't break off. It sharpens really well. So I really do love these and I highly recommend these because they stay put all day long. So after, so what do we have left? Mascara and lip products. We're getting there. It's long. Again, if you've suffered with me this long, God bless your soul. If not, that's cool too. I get it. I'm not for everyone. So lip products. Um, I don't have drugstore. Well, my, one of my lip liners is drugstore. The rest of it, not so much. So I love lip glosses. I love filling in with a lip liner and then just doing a good gloss on top. Uh, oh, just kidding, you guys. I have a NYX gloss, so I do have affordable. Okay, so my go-to favorites. This one right here is from Lunar Beauty. I believe this is $18 or $20. This is his um, lip gloss in the shade Moon. Like, first of all, the packaging is freaking gorgeous. And it smells, it smells so good. And it's got this nice doe foot applicator. It's not sticky. It's not goopy. It's it's just beautiful and it gives you the most beautiful wash of color and i think it's worth it because you don't need a lot of it okay the next two so i do have the nyx this is milky gloss and this is in cookies and milk and of course most of these are neutral because that's who i am as a person <laughs> so this is another beautiful uh shade and it's non-sticky it's super nice and glossy actually i could use a little gloss in my life if you can see so it just gives you like look at that that's so pretty and you can layer this if you want like more gloss and see not sticky whatsoever so this is ten dollars maybe or something like that and then my last one that i love for gloss is from dose of colors because they make the most amazing uh lip products so this is their stay glossy this is in the shade truffle and it's a it's a pinky nude and it's absolutely beautiful again non-sticky non-goopy won't create like those lines inside your mouth which i absolutely hate when a gloss does that it's disgusting so this I also think is like $18 or $20. Do with that what you may. My favorite lip liners. This was actually by a sheer fluke discovery when I was watching Jasmine and she was raving about this. This is the NYX Professional Suede Matte Lip Liner and this is in the shade London. This is, you guys, the perfect nude. If you are looking for the perfect nude lip liner, look no further. And I want to say this is like $3.99 or $4.99. It's stupid affordable and the quality is amazing and you do sharpen it and it sharpens really, really well. My other one is, I actually didn't buy this one. This was in a boxy charm. This is the one by Dominique Cosmetics. This is the creamy fill and define lip liner. And this is in the shade Crush. And this is another beautiful pinky nude this paired up with this is absolutely gorgeous it's like one of my favorite recent favorite combos um this is creamy it's non like it doesn't emphasize like the lines on your lips when you're using it to fill it in it is absolutely gorgeous and um i will repurchase um even though like this came in a boxy charm so i didn't like purchase it separately but i will repurchase this once i start running out it's that good okay and then are we done no yeah, we are, right? No, setting spray, setting spray. And then we're done, okay? You're done with my face. <laughs> not drugstore. We know this. Um, not because I didn't look. I did. I tried Milani. I tried Elf. I tried um, something else. None of them did what I needed them to do. Okay, my makeup broke apart. I was shiny. I was gross looking by the end, of, by midday actually. So here I sit with expensive setting sprays, but they work, okay? So as I mentioned it already earlier, the Urban Decay All Nighter. Holy freaking grail of 
setting sprays. It's expensive, but you don't need a lot of it. Sometimes you can catch a special either on the Urban Decay website or on Ulta where it'll be two bottles. And this is uh, four fluid ounces. So you get eight ounces for $33, which I know is like, I know, WTF, I know. But two bottles for $33, honestly, that's like what, 50, a little over $15 per bottle. It's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. But my one that was, again, a recent discovery, and I bought this on sale. So this is the Ofra Mattifying Makeup Fixer. Yeah, you guys. It's $20, but this is eight fluid ounces, okay? I got this for $10 because they were running a special. Like I said, Ofra does sales as well, which I know you. some of you may not believe because it's such a prominent brand, but they do run specials. This right here, if you want, if you're oily and your skin does the most during the summer and you want to be mattified but not dry and cakey, this right here is going to change your life, okay? I'm not even kidding. Even with the $20 price tag, if you have to pay full price, you need this, you guys. This is so, so good. I absolutely love this spray. When it's super disgustingly hot outside which is it has been it's been all summer honestly it's been in the 80s and 90s and this coming week I just checked the weather three days straight it's gonna be 91 degrees I cried a little you guys I'm not even kidding oh my gosh my cat I'm sorry I just got super distracted my cat was sharpening her claws on my chair anyways <laughs> back to this um, yeah, so this has been saving my life and my face and everything in between. It is so good. You don't need a lot of it and it just grips you guys and it locks your makeup in place and it is the most wonderful setting spray ever. Okay, so there you go. There you have it. That's literally everything that I use that I love that I would highly recommend if you can afford it, if it's higher end. Drugstore, definitely go get the drugstore stuff because it's so amazing. Um, and that's it. Thank you, as always, for sticking with me. I just feel like this video was necessary, okay? You may disagree, but I just felt like I wanted to share with you guys everything that I love to use and I would recommend day in and day out, even if it's with a heftier price tag on some of them. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for hanging out with me and for putting up with me and my babbling. I hope some of this was helpful. I hope you guys will find your next products that you will absolutely love just as much as I do. And thank you again for hanging out, for tuning in, for staying tuned in, for staying subscribed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.